Alternative data often uncovers insights that traditional data sets might overlook. Could you share your thoughts on how alternative data can reveal emerging trends in patient behavior or healthcare utilization, things that are uh, critical in, um, in an investment process, and how this might influence decision makers, decision making for investors? I'm Julia Fitzgerald. I'm the director of healthcare data sets at Ernest Analytics. So we, uh, our business model is we partner with companies that have large data sets as a byproduct of their core business, but don't necessarily have the in-house data infrastructure and expertise to monetize those data sets. And so we partner with those companies, we ingest their data, we do a lot of cleansing and refining and transformation to develop actionable products to sell into financial services. They're Generally, what we found in selling healthcare, alternative healthcare data sets to financial services is I'd say that there are kind of three key areas of differentiation that really resonate for the financial services sector. So I'd say it kind of falls into buckets of like the timeliness of the data as compared to traditional research solutions, um, the granularity or richness of the data, and then the longitudinality of the data or the ability to track patient trends over a longer time horizon. Um, and so I'll give a quick example of each of these. So when we talk about timeliness of the data, one of the things, I'd say that one of the most actionable use cases for alternative healthcare data sets in financial services is the ability to predict quarterly earnings. So often when companies report quarterly earnings, there are significant stop mo stock movements, particularly in cases where there may be big divergences between what the sell side was modeling for a particular product in a company's portfolio and what the company ultimately prints. And with alternative data sets like open claims data sets that are very low latency, we can often use those data sets, look at utilization that's, that we're tracking in the data set to derive a forecast for what the company is going to pr print in terms of net sales for a product. Um, and so there's obviously clear alpha to be generated there. Um, so beyond timeliness, another thing that's really cared about and that really resonates is the richness of alternative healthcare data sets. So again, to use the example of claims data sets, there's just by nature, it's a really attribute rich data set. There's a lot of information that you get about a patient's demographics, about the site of care, et cetera. 